Hello everyone, my name is Gus. Hi, I'm Woody. And today we have a video neither one of us have seen. This is, uh, somebody, sent, somebody sent me this video. It's apparently from a documentary from some ancient book or manuscript or something that they found with a lot of like inventions that we take for granted today, but that like, apparently like somebody put into a book hundreds of years ago and no one can explain how he came up with it. So don't mm -hmm. start with... Crazy uh, theories. I'm all right. Well, at best, somebody faked this book. At how best. somebody could come up with something hundreds of years ago? Hmm. Well, I go ahead and play it, but let's. I'm already okay. got the taker thinking. Contained within its pages is material from many facets of life in the Middle Ages. Middle. I have ages. to pause. What? Already. I. Why? I know. I'll get the criticisms. You know that's. Alien inspired. This time no, I'm being serious. Please. There's no five way. Seconds in. We're five what is seconds that? In. Who? Hundreds of years ago. Who's drawing that? Anyone. Including There's gyroglyphics from. Bizarre image. There's no such word as gyroglyphics unless you're eating a gyro. 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 I don't know. But that's These the alien. These are extraordinary. Here we have got Listen. frogmen. People in diving suits. This is 1459. What? 1459 you think we we Six, just knew how to do surface almost supply almost 600 years covered with a hard helm be what? it that the water runs strongly then you should burden yourself with weights so that you may submerge and emerge again too who gave Tower them that info tells us so much they just in came up with it no, it was so 14 much when they were killing each other but there's also little key bits of information missing okay. and this is a classic example we've got a diving suit but he doesn't actually explain where the oxygen comes from. Perhaps he it, needs it's us right, to go it, to it was right to there. him to tell us Wait. what that missing bit of information is. There's no missing bit. It's right there. The bubbles are right here. He even drew the bubbles, saying the bubbles, which means the air, comes through that hose, looks like an elephant, which is probably where he got the inspiration from, and he goes into the guy's face. It's not that hard. That's it. I listen, figured it out. Thank you. Uh, good, okay, good PhD job. of history. Of nothing. Uh, listen, one thing I want to say. Understand that whoever figured this out, which I'm just saying, hmm. not only did they have to figure out how to get the air, which you just pointed out the it's, obvious it's with your PhD. You pointed out the obvious yeah. with your PhD. Good job. Not only did they have to figure out to the tube brings the air in, hmm. but obviously they built some kind of suit so they didn't get squeezed to death all at the same time, right? In 1400, I thought back then the only thing they knew how to do was stab each other. <laughs> and now we have a full-blown pressure suit where they can breathe. That did not cut that. Ca hmm. Who gave them that info? I'm asking a, a simple question. Dude, they invented it. It's not that hard. They invented stabbing each other. Well, That's all they knew how to do back then. Okay. But could a diving suit actually exist over 500 years ago? Yes, with a given type special technology from... All right. At the medieval center in Denmark... Is why would aliens know how to dive? Uh, answer that. They're helping us... But why would they explore know how to explore our There's oceans? Like, They're giving us tools. Really? So like that's we're relatives. So like they were just diving in the alien. You don't want to help your brother in the alien planets, we, and then they're like, "Hey, let's just go and teach these humans how to dive." With the time transport, they that came. doesn't sound dumb. They to came you at all. for up from us. They've come back to revisit. They the came from us. All right, this yes. is. Let's. I'm just, just telling you. Have built a diving suit from images. I'm figuring this out from more and more with Einstein's theories. Source. But does this technology oh. really work? Wait, wait, wait. Look at that helmet. This helmet is slightly cool. different to the one that but we, we could see use that. in the Telhofer manuscript. What we see depicted there is what's actually known as a frog mouth helmet, very appropriately for a frog man. It's Joust a frog too. mouth helmet, um, which is used for jousting. Oh. What? What? We need it. Wait, 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 wait. They're going to joust underwater? Of course. And we are going to have those on gels too. The point is you need a solid one. helmet to put the air in. It, basically, what's going to happen is this is going to act like an air bell. A very simple primary technology, the first of its kind. <laughs> and I'm very glad that he's doing it and not me. No, you don't say. This is awesome. This is ridiculous. Look at that. That's sophisticated. 
Although wow. the secret to supplying air to a man underwater is not revealed, the lightly technology required is contained within the manuscript. A set of bellows attached to an air bladder. Mm. And a peacock. You saw the peacock. Historical engineers found that getting this technology to work wasn't as easy as they initially perceived. So when you have a big amount of air in a big bellow, I gotta you rely to on you to pump that thing. To get it uh, down to the diver, well, you don't have you enough need a break? force to press it into the hose and down to the diver. So we had to go back and make three small bellows with very long levers on, so you have a lot of power to pump the air. It's a lot of hard what? work to work the bellows. They need to be pumped really hard and fast to to get enough air. Uh, All right, one quick pause again. If you're, I'm going to do this, okay? I want to try this. We, sh we should try to make our own. Yeah. If you're not just going to go on break, like after three pumps, please, when we do it, okay? Like I need a bag of Doritos and a beer. Mm -hmm. Can I get the Bentley when you die? Keep pumping. All right. Get down to the diver. Well, I think we are about ready. Are you ready, guys? Ready. ready? One, two, three, one. You're, three, you're, one, two, yeah, I gotta have some one, strong two, poppers. Three, one, Look at him in there. Look at him. In there. It's like, he's got keep to pumping. buckle that front uh, and back because as the air goes in, then this will flow down. Dude, look at that hose. He has already, like a thousand attachments with tape. Away. <laughs> Those guys better. Here he goes down. We've got to keep this pipe straight. I don't think you'll make it to the bottom of that ladder. Yeah, I'll go already quick. There he is. He's in I know. The water. That's what I'm worried. With no really communication, man. All of a sudden, I'm just like. <laughs> where, where's. You can see the oh, it's it's not great. I'm doing this. Resting my No rest. <laughs> this is fantastic. You can see this technology. Technology that was thought about probably before 1400. And it's working. Well. That man is underwater and he's breathing. Well, what's the thought thing. about it? Guys give it pumping on those bellows. It's quite extraordinary. Yeah. The test you see here is limited to 10 minutes. But in medieval times, Th that guy was down there for the 17 seconds. For as long Stop as there it. was no. a supply of men to pump the bellows. I don't, I don't, I, I don't doubt him. This is the technology that put men on the moon. All right. The idea that mechanical contraptions can well, override. That, I'm trying to figure that part out. Wait, wait, what did he say? The, did he say what I think? This, that this is embarrassing. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I even I'm gonna have to say. This is the technology that put man on the moon. The pump thing with the... I don't care. I'm not, I'm not able to and make that jump. The, the, it, that's, this that's, is, that's you know what I'm saying? This is when you have to check out. You have to be like, okay, this is just... I may have to go with you this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not... I'm sorry. So I don't... I'm, that leap is... I'll leap a lot, but I'm not seeing Elon What part Musk. of the Apollo program? Elon, did you get your new <laughs> rocket ship that relands based on... You think Elon's this? watching this and be like... We can go to Mars. Pump it. We can go to Mars based on... Yeah, yeah, no. Good job. Me ham up. Yeah. yeah. How was that? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you're, not, you're not wet there. You're the, the water only, it's only wet to no, here. No, no, no problem at all. Your whole face is dry. It's extraordinary. His whole face is dry. It was down for 17 yeah. seconds. No, I don't believe that. Suit. Don't doubt them like that. One they of the were down there. World's great he just said this is what and they the used to go to the moon. In Talhoffer's manuscript. Like, I'm going to take everything he says with a the suit grain of salt. The team in Denmark has just that tested. Part, it's tricky. It is closer in design to the closed air systems we have today and is more maneuverable and better fitted with the air likely designed to escape from the sleeves and oh not around God. the face. Thank you to them, is what I would say, to the Tal givers. Hoffer does not reveal why the diving suit was used. Yeah. And possibly exactly. this, and this all the other like information the White killer, Master dude. excludes from his manuscript, is this the is answer the to the killer image used to of wear. him holding a broken chain. Could it be that Talhofer was the missing link that made his 1459 fight book complete? Well, this manuscript offers us a glimpse into the violent and complicated world that we're only just beginning to truly understand. And you know what I'm thinking. I'm going to end with my... There's no... Of course they don't understand. I mean, they wouldn't have understood and we're just beginning to understand when you're given something by such an advanced 
other species. It, they probably show them the technology they use for their own spaceships. I figured it out. By the way, what what a, a, a an awful way to contribute for aliens to come and show you that piece of crap suit. Like that's the best they can do, aliens. They, they no, they, they have a rule. You're not, really? You don't. Yeah, they have a rule. Move you along. Right. Move society along slowly. If they give you everything, like in the abyss, mm. where they give you the liquid that we can breathe, that's that's too quick. You don't. You're gonna. You're messing up the natural progression of. The human species. Really? Just give them a little and let them build tools off of that. And that's the philosophy. That makes perfect nonsense. Um, so the, the other thing I wanted to mention is earlier in the episode, they talked about jousting, which sounded cool. And we talked about maybe for jousting too. We can use something similar to that. And in case you haven't seen the jousting video that we were talking about. <laughs> the part I'm laughing at is that... It's so automatic in our mind that, of course, we're doing joust, too. Yeah. Right? With all the criticism, you, no. you destroy caves or whatever. It's a matter yes, of fact. Yes, you guys are all right. And joust, too. Yeah. World championship. <laughs> um, so in case you haven't seen that video, I'm going to leave it right here. You guys get to see us go to town jousting inside a cave on DPVs. Come back for joust, too. <laughs>